Hey guys, it's Chris here at Engine, and in this week's video tutorial we'll show you how to make a fully functional point-based donation store on your website. There are many benefits to opening a point-based store. Using points promotes website activity, encourages good behaviour, and can even be helpful in promoting your website and server. Engine provides a huge range of flexible options allowing your users to earn points, all of which will be covered in this video tutorial. As you can see, we've already set up an example store allowing users to purchase rank packages with points and allowing users to purchase points with currency. To begin setting up a point-based store, you need to make your store and items point ready. To get started, head over to your store's admin panel. From here, you'll see our example store setup. We'll quickly show you how to set up a point-based rank purchase called Ruby. First, we'll want to create a normal item. You'll need to give it a name, a description, but leave the value field at zero since we'll be using points for this purchase. We'll quickly jump into the item designer and set up this rank to match our store. You can obviously use any rank name or images you want, however. This is just for our example item. After you've finished designing your item, just click Use Image. We'll be keeping this tutorial fairly simple in most areas and leaving most options at their default values. The options we're looking for in particular, however, lie in the Credit Points section. From here, we'll specify that the item can only be purchased with points, and we'll enter a points value. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can enter any server commands you want, or you can click Create Item. Back to the store's admin panel, we can see the new items being created. And if we go back to the store and refresh the page, we should be able to see it added to the store as well. And it's as simple as that. If you'd like more information on setting up items in DonationCraft, check out the links in the video description. Ok, so you have a nice point-based store, but how do users exactly start earning points? Engine provides a huge range of flexible methods. The first we'll cover will be the Vote for Diamonds module located in the Module section. This module functions by rewarding users for daily, weekly and monthly voting on popular Minecraft server lists. Using this module to reward points will not only increase website activity, but will help promote your website and server in turn. To start setting up some point-based rewards, you'll need to head over to the Rewards tab. To create a basic reward, you'll need to give the reward a name, a description, and the amount of credit points to add. After creating your reward, you'll also need to create a condition. Your condition will determine how and which reward will execute. The feature provides a huge amount of different condition criteria. You'll just need to have a look and decide which criteria is best for your server community. Once chosen, just make sure you select the correct reward at the bottom. Once you've created your rewards, make sure to make use of the Reminders feature. Setting up Reminders is an easy way to give your community a nudge daily to keep voting. If you need help setting up reminders, check out the links in the video description. For the next point earning method, we'll need to head back to the store module. Probably the easiest and quickest way to earn points is to simply buy them from the store itself. As you can see from our store setup, we have a ranks purchase section as well as a point packages section. Adding points to your store is just as easy as adding regular items. We'll quickly show you how to set up an example now. From the Add Items window, we'll quickly set up an example for a 100 points purchase. You'll need to add a name, an optional description, and a price just like a regular item. Again, you can design these items however you want, using your own custom images and text. We'll just quickly set something up to match our store design. After we've finished designing our item, we'll want to head down to the Credit Points section again. From here, we'll state that the item can only be purchased with money and on purchase add a point value, in our case 100 points. It's also useful to tick the option under the points value field to make sure the user is logged in. After we've finished adding our options, just head down and click create item. Back to the store's admin panel you should see the new points purchase added, and if we head back to our store and refresh the page we should see the new item in our store as well. Adding point purchases is quick and easy, just make sure you also set up your payment gateways. Check the video description for information on this. The third big point earner and the final we'll cover in this video tutorial can be located in the Site Admin Automation section. Website automations are a fantastic way to help your community dynamically grow. 
As you can see from our example automations, we have a few set up to reward points, as well as one set up to remove them. Setting up automations is really easy. You just need to specify your conditions, as well as the amount of points to add or remove. Each of Engine's hosting plans allows you a certain amount of automations. Make sure to make use of all the automations available to you to keep your user base busy and active. Engine also provides some great tools to keep track of website points and spending. The Points Manager section will give you a detailed overview of all users' website points, as well as the option to bulk edit users. The Point Setting section will give you some useful website point options, as well as a Point Decay option which will gradually remove a user's points over time. This is a great feature to clear down inactive users' points over time, as well as keeping your current user base even more active than before. And last but not least, we have a Great Points Log section. This section keeps track of all users' spending and earning, as well as any administrator edits. The final feature we'll take a look at will be the Credit Points Display Module. This is an extremely useful feature for your user base, giving them a heads-up display of their current point totals and where to buy and spend them. We recommend keeping this module in clear sight to keep your users updated and engaged in your new point-based system. And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this quick overview of setting up a point-based store, as well as all the point earning and tracking features associated with it. Since this was just an overview, make sure to check out our help center for more detailed guides and information, or you can send in a support form, all links included in the video description.